Welcome back to the garden. Today is the hottest day of the year so far. Monday, August 23rd. It was 100 degrees. 110 heat index. Wait until the sun went down. Glad you stopped by the garden. I thought we'd do a little comparison between the two rows of tomatoes today. We had one row that we planted with Epsom salts. And we had one row that we planted without Epsom salts. Which one produced the best? Well, come on, let's take a look. See, when you don't spray, once in a while you gotta share. Well, that's three that have to go to the mulch pile. So if we're gonna go row one, we got a pretty good little haul. Now, if we're going to use today's harvest as a test, we might say that row two produced better than row one. I think that wouldn't be correct. Obviously, I got more ripe tomatoes off of row this one. This side, we didn't use Epsom salts. This side, we used Epsom salts. But if you look at how tall the plants are and how much we got off it overall, the side with the Epsom salts is a hands-down winner. We have different varieties. Obviously, the varieties come into play. We have some beef steak over there. We've got some Curious. Down here, we've got some Abe Lincoln, and we've got Carla. Down on this side, it's almost all Cherokee tomatoes. That's the ones that are more green on top, more dark on the bottom. And a lot of these we picked, people thought these weren't ripe. They were almost all pretty close to being ripe. This side, we got a couple that are very tall. This side we got most, most everything is very tall. We got more fruit up high on this side. This side's been producing vine ripe tomatoes day after day. Nothing like picking fruit five and a half, six feet off the ground. This is why we do it. So as it starts getting dark in the deep mulch no-till garden, well, I think the evidence is in. If you see how the harvest has gone so far this summer, the row with the Epsom salts has produced better. The plants got bigger, faster. We still have more fruit on that side. The ones without the Epsom salts still did, did really well in this deep mulch, don't get me wrong. So either way you choose, you can do this. I want to thank you for stopping by the garden and helping me pick another batch of tomatoes. Remember, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.